Ladies and gentlemen, my loins are just throbbing with excitement for me to be able to welcome you back here on my YouTube channel and today we are expanding our quest to insanity into the stratosphere and beyond. The challenge is simple. The skyscraper in downtown Los Santos is still under damn construction up until today. This brings tears to my eyes and we believe we have found a reason for this. They seriously lack construction apparatus. So we take the bulldozer that spawns in Palito and bring it to the construction site. And you heard me right, bring it. We just have to make sure the Dozer in Polito gets to downtown LS no matter how we do it. Now I hear you thinking, Sonny, Dave, why are you guys slacking? Why are you guys not driving? Well, let me stop you right there because that is exactly my thoughts going into this challenge. But let me tell you, give this video a chance and I will give you my personal guarantee that us trying to get this thing across the map will be the most tragic journey you'll ever see in your life. So the rules, full lobby, no asking for help from anyone, no passive mode, all the usual now lastly, before we begin the shit show, might I be so kind to ask you to run outside, ring your neighbor's doorbell, and as he opens up, bring up your phone to his face and slap the like button with your neighbor's nose. That would be outstanding, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin. Oh, attempt number one. In order to get a good feeling for the challenge and find out what the hurdles are, we do what we always do. We get in the dozer and we just wing it. No messing around. We will actually try and drive it to get in tune what we are dealing with. We head west and down the highway and the first two things we notice there, holy shit, these things are slow and holy shit, these things are heavy. I am not shitting you. It took five minutes to get out of Polito Bay, but we trucked on and we started experimenting on how to make these things a little faster and the only thing that came to mind is using the NPCs so we pissed them off and they started bumping into us and well it did absolutely nothing but as we went along we saw something that we couldn't resist oh shit Dave I'm gonna bring one of these I got a couple, I got a couple of lids. Oh yes, along the way we would make sure we grab enough construction materials to make sure this damn shit show gets finished correctly. So we grabbed some lids, some trash cans, some signs, some water containers, man. With these supplies, this building was gonna be done in no time. We passed Zancudo, but then... A, a prostitute? No, there's a dude just spawning us. I'm getting chased down now. Evansy is literally faster than I. But of course, a modder spawned in. Now as soon as you see one of these near you, you can be damn sure there's a 95% chance of death happening within 30 seconds. And just like that, oh God, ladies and gentlemen, the modder destroyed Dave's dozer and me just a few seconds later. Attempt number two. All right, <laughs> we are just gonna cheese this damn challenge. We've tortured ourselves enough in the past, so it is now time to just cargo up this damn thing. We are just grabbing this thing with the hook and flying into LS and, well, there was no way to hook this thing to the cargo bob and my hopes and dreams came crashing down. There is no easy dub here. Okay, cool, so driving this thing would take literal hours. No airlifting, it won't work either, but what about doing it legit? As in real life legit, I mean these things aren't driven to that designated workplace. They must be transported and thus we do this the sensible way instead, by using a truck with a trailer. Now this sounds like the perfect plan, doesn't it? Now let me tell you, it just isn't. Why? Cause remember in attempt number one, I said these things were heavy? Yes! And with heavy, I mean it weighs as much as my lovely lump of plump Eunice in my bully series and you should definitely watch it car popping up in the video right now boom self promo anywho we managed to get this thing on the trailer but sweet jesus on a scoot mobile the trailer nearly snaps in half with this thing on the back i mean i am actually confident this truck is the heaviest vehicle in the entire game we can't even get up to speed with the truck and just minutes later after taking a minor turn the dozer falls off anyway well shit Attempt number four. Okay, okay, so I couldn't call attempt number three a huge juicy L because we did get it mobile, but the problem eventually was it slid off the side. That was the main culprit of attempt number three's disaster. So we aren't giving up on this concept just yet. We just need to find a vehicle that would just slide the dozer in the back and oh my sweet Mary on the pogo stick has they found the ultimate vehicle. I could already feel the victory royale brewing. We managed to drop it in the back and holy shit, to both of our surprise, it actually worked. We were actually just cruising on the highway now. We flew past everything and it was coming along nicely until... Keep the... Keep the... Keep, I can't see. Put it down. Thank you. <laughs> 
Put it down. Come on, man, drive. This, it's, that's me going forwards, Evans. It's, it's, it's going in reverse. Okay, so normally I explain what is happening, but the fact of the matter is neither of us knew what was happening. The truck simply would not move forward anymore. Something in the physics broke, and now here we are, 22 minutes in, stuck once again, and the vehicle could only reverse. So we decided to get the bulldozer out of the truck and put it back in the other way around. Maybe that will work. Great, but now I just need to get in. But as I turn around... Ah, what the fuck? Evans! Where'd you go? Well, check the map. Dave just vanished into thin air. And when I looked at the map, I saw him at LSIA, and I instantly knew what had happened. A modder. A modder teleported him across the map, and this might for once actually be a good thing. I rushed back into the dozer and prayed to the gods above that this modder would also take me away. We would be so close to our goal if he did so, and just like that, he took me away. To the inside of an ammunition. He killed me and turned me into a cardboard box man. <sighs> this game is just an absolute delight to play. Attempt number five. Alright, putting the dozer in the back of the truck business ain't gonna work. We were doing it for three hours and well, the only attempt we got remotely close to was the one where we just straight up drove it. But what if you have something to push it? The train. Yeah, we tried that and the train just absolutely mauled the dozer and spread Dave all over the railway in about a million pieces. Attempt number six. Train wasn't happening either. Okay, so we've tried driving it. We've tried transporting it. How about just pushing it? Well, let me tell you one thing. This thick boy, it doesn't like to get pushed around. So much so that nothing can actually push it. You gotta see this thing as a compact wheel and you're trying to move it by throwing Tic Tacs at it. I have used this analogy before and it definitely worked better then. But we started experimenting. Cars, it won't work. Trucks, won't work. And after trying a ton of different vehicles, we came to the conclusion that we need a goddamn tank. Ladies and gentlemen, we were now on our merry, unstoppable way, and we were inching closer to that victory royale, but also <laughs> a quick, sweet, juicy sprung stop. And at the gas station, two sprung dispensers were waiting for us, but suddenly a random player appeared. I was in a tank, but she seemed fearless. This is unnatural behavior, but hell, a sprunk must be had, and thus, I jumped out of the tank, I walked over to the sprunk machine, and I, I, I can't take my sprunk in peace, what is she doing? And just like that, another modder destroyed the dozer, and shortly after that, killed me with about a million snowballs. Attempt number seven, ladies and gentlemen, it was now 3-0 for the modders, and if you want to see for yourself how low morale was at this point, look no further than my Twitter, because let me tell you one thing, your two boys over here, they get a little prickly after five hours of getting killed by modders, but luckily, there was progress. We found out a way how to get this goddamn thing to the far south. It is via pushing with the tank. Now this tank has an advantage. It is a damn tank. And no, a lot of people aren't too eager to attack a tank. So yes, we had that going for us. Oh, the joy. We were getting a bit more comfortable now with our surroundings and we're just breezing on. Yes, now we're making moves. And actually feel secure. Somebody comes to fuck with me, I'm in a tank. Well, <laughs> that's fantastic. Now listen up, legit real talk coming in right now. I was at a point of dropping this entire challenge and just stopping these videos right here, right now until the new consoles come out. Cause it is actually beyond me how Rockstar dares to sell this game and dares to sell shortcuts in a game that is this broken. For real, anyone watching this thing and thinking about buying it for PC, simply do not. When the new consoles come out, your boy is out of this bullshit right away. But mama did not raise no bitch. And if Rockstar wants to fist us while doing this challenge, then I will take it like a goddamn champ. Attempt number eight. Now I hope we are all on the same page here. We know how to get the challenge done, but there's been one thing that's been in our way this entire run. It isn't the usual suspects, the actual players, no, it's the damn modders. So off we go. Attempt number eight. And of course, a modder shows up, but this one was acting different. Now, although we were close to ramming our fists through the goddamn computer screens, we thought, well, let's just go with it and see how far we get. 
And for whatever reason, he just kind of let us do our thing. He was watching, but never really interfering. He was just observing. But we all know how these volatile creatures are. I mean, the second they get bored, they might just destroy you. It's kind of like doing water polo in a lake filled with hippos. It is just a matter of time. But we had to calm down a little bit. And it was now time for a quick sprung stop. But as I went in for the quick sprung stop, of course, someone tried to steal the tank, but Dave took care of it. And we headed down the road. We headed past this ball container meteorite and car that some description that was just on the middle of the highway because, well, long live the PC version of GTA Online. But along the way, the tank took an absolute beating from the police. And unfortunately, Dave and the tank went up in flames and I was now left to my own devices. And the modder, he was still hovering around and suddenly, out of nowhere, the modder spawned in a cargo bob. Now of course, I remember attempt number two and we tried to do this exact thing and unfortunately, there is no way to hook the thing and the modder managed to hook it with the power of his mod menu. Now things started looking okay you would say, but we aren't allowed to tell him where we are heading. We aren't allowed to ask him for help. So he asked us, where do you want to go? And the only thing I could say is, wherever you feel like. And thus, we flew into the sunset. I was on this magical ride with the destination unknown. We weren't safe just yet, but the thing is, if this mother wanted us dead, we would have been dead already. So we were just going where he would take us. And ladies and gentlemen, out of all places, he dropped us right on top of the maze bank, right next to where we need to be. And all we need to do is go down. Now, I was actually thinking this would end in catastrophe, but for whatever ridiculous and dubious reason, this vehicle weighs a ton, but it just floats down like a feather. And just like that, we landed this baby on the ground. And now it was only a short drive to the construction yard. God, we made it. A sweet, epic victory royale. Eight hours of hard work and so many else. But at this point, I don't even care. May the entirety of GTA Online burn in flames as soon as that new console drops on my doormat. Your boy is out of this joint. But anywho, it is now time to thank all the members. All 62 of you glorious sexy bastards. Thank you all. Thank you all. I want to give a special and huge shout out to three members in particular on today's video. And those are Blackwing. Mirko and Michelle Klein. These guys have been members for over 30 months now and I am so grateful for these guys. I appreciate y'all and now if you want to become a member and get some sweet juicy perks like the ability to view these disastrous videos early and chat with me in the comments of those videos when they release and like other perks be sure to smash that join button right now and yeah thank y'all for watching okay peace out bye